okay so this is the rgb led red blue and green and this lengthy terminal is the common cathode the normal one is the two leg uh, led which we know this is positive and this is negative but here this will be common cathode and you can make this red blue green in one led three colors will be turned on so it will be very interesting i'm trying to do one project with this uh, so let's assemble this so i have connected uh, five leds here so one two three four five so i have taken this and connected like this can you see this the second one is the this second one is the common cathode this particular LED that I have is a common cathode, but you have common anode as well. So I have connected all the common cathode like this from here to here and here to here to here, all negatives connected and taken it here. So this is the first step that I have done and uh, wait for the next step. Microcontroller, you're going to use this nano board. Okay, done. Now we have digital pins here analogs here so i'm going to connect one by one to this so this one 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 terminal i'm going to use like that let me quickly finish and then connect with you okay i'm going to use this breadboard connect with this multiple wires how do you like it uh, i purchased this recently from robo.n okay i've turned this board like this way because the digital pins get connected very easily so let's first connect one by one. Okay, so finally I have made the connections here. So I have taken wires from here and connected here. And I have also used analog here because all 13 pins are over. So I have used analog here. Now, so what we are going to do is we are going to turn on these LEDs as per the colors but, uh, but the speed is going to be controlled by this potentiometer you know how this potentiometer works right so i'm going to connect this potentiometer to the microcontroller okay let's do it okay so we have done this I'm going to connect this micro switch to the microcontroller. You know why? Because we, this will change the pattern of the LED. Uh, let's see when, when we do the output. Okay, I've just connected here. And let's quickly give the connections to it. Okay, I'm going to connect 1K resistance from the micro switch to the 5 volt. Okay, now almost we have done. We have given all the LEDs connections, then potentiometer here is to control the speed of the light. Then we have a pattern change switch here. Now we have to do the program. Okay, let's get into our Okay, this is our code. So first let's initialize the uh, pins and then we'll go to the detailing of the sketch. So uh, nothing very serious about this uh, sketch because we are going to initiate the button pin which is connected to pin number 2 and then potentiometer's initial value equal to 1 and then potentiometer is connected to A3 analog A3 and uh, the button state as you know the button state it has to be uh, digitally read and then transferred to another variable so we are using button state okay last button state is to to give a delay time and not uh, you know to take on two counts when you press once so that's why you use this uh, variable and then we have count count is to count how many counts we are giving a press the button is pressed so we're keeping count on that and now comes the major part here so what is this <coughs> these are all the leds uh, terminals uh, bb1 first thing is bb means blue Initially, I said B1, but there was an internal error in the code. Uh, B1 was not, it had some conflict and, uh, and the code the compiler said, no, B1 is a internal uh, variable which is used by the ID. So I have to remove the B1 and then I defined it as BB1. 
then bb1 means the blue the first led one means the first led blue pin number is 12 and then g1 is green first led 11 then r1 is red 10th uh, pin number 10 and then bb2 means next led second led likewise till 5 r5 r5 is red fifth led is connected to pin number a4 and then vc is the potentiometer volume control bt is the button is connected to pin number 2 that's about the uh, pin initialization now as you know now we have to go to our setup and then i'm initializing serial monitor then here i'm going to say button pin uh, is connected to input pull up so we're going to use the press will be low not high so we are using it input pull up and then uh, pin mode all our output except the um, button switch which is already we have given it there and volume control we are not given input or output because it comes under analog so you don't have to define analog as pin mode in output or input you don't have to, you don't have to do it for analog now comes our loop part so we have done all the initialization now what are we going to do with the code the first thing what i'm going to do in rgb i'm going to turn on one two three four five like that okay i'm going to write code for that now i have written this inside the loop first we are going to read the potentiometer value for which it's an analog connected pin so we're going to say analog read pot pin number then it's going to be in the pot value then button state again we're going to read the digital read button pin and then we are going to put it in button state then here we are going to say if button state equal to low which, which means whenever i give a press and uh, last button state equal to high you know why we use this it's a debounce and then count equal to plus plus so every time i give a press then it keeps the count of it then i'm saying if count is greater than five we have to reset to one so it should not go to count six seven eight so we are keeping a count because we have five leds here we're going to keep five count so each five times i give a press the pattern of the leds are going to change like if it's going to be blue 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 next press will be green 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 likewise we're going to make a combination of the pattern for that only we are changing we are using this button next we'll see last button state equal to button state so we're going to reset it like this and then uh, so we're going to print that in the serial monitor the potentiometer value now as when the count is zero i'm going to run a function called zero and in the case and i give a press then the count is one this function is going to run likewise till five so each function is unique then we have a delay here so here the delay value instead of value i'm going to give the potentiometer's value so when I turn the potentiometer, that will be the delay time. How nice it is, right? So first we look at it, void function zero. So initially this uh, BB1 is going to be high, then with a delay, as in when I turn the potentiometer, there's a delay, which I can choose instantly. Then it's going to turn on the green, and then it's going to turn on the red, <coughs> and then it's going to turn on the uh, fourth LED blue and then fifth LED green. Let's see the output of this. Okay, I'm going to turn on, upload the code and then turn it on. Wow, can you see this color glowing? Is it visible? Can I show it like this? Uh, is it visible? I don't know. Let me take some paper. I'll put a paper on top of it. Now you should be able to see all the five colors isn't it no okay ah, now is it fair okay i think i reduced the brightness now it's fair okay now we are able to glow this uh, led like this red blue green and things now we'll change the pattern once we press the pattern, now we'll change our coding and come back here okay we saw the first coding like it was blue green and things like that now we will again it was turning it off low means it was turning it off now we'll go to the function one so once i give the press the count becomes from zero to one so we should be able to see this so here what i have done is the potentiometer first the blue is going to turn on and then uh, potentiometer is the delay time so as in when i rotate the delay it's going to take a turn okay next we are going to turn on the turn it off and then we are going to turn on the next leds blue color and then third led is blue then turn off four 
so that is the next function let's upload this code and see the output okay I'm gonna turn this on I'm going to give a press here can you see this okay I'm gonna press the button here now can you see this it is to change the pattern it's all in blue now so I'm going to change the delay by rotating this potentiometer can you see this going slower it's even slower I can even make it very slow can you see this likewise if I turn the potentiometer this wise anti-clockwise then it will be faster can you see this yes going faster now I can reduce this yes it is very fast now I can reduce it gradually like this. okay isn't it interesting if you like this video just give a thumbs up okay now let's look at the next pattern function 2 is where we uh, make the green turn on now it was blue it was glowing now the second press will turn the green likewise the function 4 function 3 again it's going to turn on the red let's look at all these three okay and then we'll come back to the code so first initially it's starting up like this so let me turn off this brightness that is the brightness okay now as, as I said we're going to turn on the potentiometer like this then it becomes faster now we're going to give the press let's give a press here one now it is blue right isn't it blue yes now if I give another press it should turn to green now it's green actually I don't know if you're able to see, look at it it's green actually now if I give another press it should be red As I said, you can always change the pattern here by making it fast, slow, all that you can do it here. Okay, now we'll go to our code again and do the fourth pattern. So fourth function, what we're going to do is we're going to call all the functions. So I'm going to say function one, it will glow and then the reverse, it will glow like this. Then function two, green will glow, glow like this and then it will reverse like this. Likewise, function 3 will glow like this and then reverse like this. These are function 4th and the 5th function is quite interesting. What I've done is, I made the uh, blue blue light of the first LED glow with a delay and then it will turn off. Then I have turned on the green and then with the delay it will turn off. So one LED, three colors it will glow and then it will pass on to the, after finishing that it will pass on to the next LED where again it will start with blue, green and red third LED again blue green and like, uh, likewise it will be glowing with three colors in one LED and then it will take, take a turn let's look at all these things now we have this five LEDs here it's going to turn RGB LEDs one two three four five LEDs can you see this colorful so I'm going to change the <clears throat> I'm going to show it to like this can you see the five colors here yes change the pattern here by giving a press here so if I press here the pattern also changes now it is blue actually can you see this it is wavery blue color so I can also control the speed of the LED by just turning on this potentiometer like this now we will turn on the colors like let me change the color to green by giving a press now it's green now if I give another press it's red okay now we'll change the fourth pattern the fourth pattern is just going like this and then taking a reverse fourth pattern Let's change the fifth color it's RGB color can you see the combination of RGB is like red blue green red blue green red blue green like why it's changing so can you see it you will be seeing it in white color so let's change the pattern by turning the knob faster can you see this it's like a disco light let's even make it faster okay check 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 it's even faster right that's the end of this project hope you uh, really enjoyed it if you're very interested to learning more about Arduino and coding and sketches like that you should join any one of our course online so if you're interested do do let us uh, send an email to this email address and we'll respond to you thank you see you in another video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your comment thank you bye bye take care